Hello and welcome to another episode of Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition uh, with the RPG Crawler. Uh, I had just finished up Crystal X Tomb uh, Level 2. I had gone on to Level 3. And as soon as I went down, my recording crashed. So here we are. I haven't killed anything. I went down. It was an ambush. I just stepped back up and apparently one of them followed me. So you'll get to see the next one as soon as I'm finished taking out this spectral guard. Um, which I'm going to do very shortly here. If I tab back over. Yes. Okay, I've got my magic sword and Ayla, they should go ahead. Oh, wow, they all followed me up here. Speak your mind. Fucking A. Well, I guess this is one way to get positioned correctly, so I don't have to worry about, you know... Oh, shit, they're on my imp. My imp's gonna come around and kite this one. How can I... You know, I guess that's a valid tactic, is running down, aggroing whatever's down there, and then hopping back up. Because, uh, I, di I certainly didn't mean to, but, um... It worked out for the best. Oh, shit, he's about to die. Uh, let's go ahead and lay on hands him. Boom! I hope that gives me enough. Oh, I have another spectral guard. That's what the problem is. So that spectral guard is wailing on me. Yeah, okay, so let's take out this spectral guard. Alright. That took him out real quick. So! Of course. With that taken care of, let's go ahead and get what I just picked. Just try and loot these things. What do these spectral guards have, anyway? They have helmets, swords, and shields. I guess one of those swords could be high quality. There we go, high quality. Okay, it's not a total waste. I right. Tell you what, um... Let's rest. Or no, no, let's not rest. We've got plenty of heals ready. Let's get her out of werewolf form. And go ahead and start using her heals to top everybody up real quick. Okay. I've got plenty of heals with her, so... I should probably knock out some of the higher level ones just to speed things up a bit. So, yeah, because he's got like 40 hit points. She's got 50 something, so. No idea why she has more hit points than my paladin. I should have just used a basic heal on her. She was only 9 down, and a basic is 8. So, um... Top up my, um... My halfling. That should be enough. Let's go ahead and pop her back in the wolf form. And head back down the stairs. Like nothing happened. Let's pretend... See, all of that stuff was a raid there. And as soon as I went back upstairs, they followed me. So let's take these guys out. They don't have a lot of hit points, but they do require magic weapons to hit. So I'm having to use my off-brand sword. My off-spec sword. <laughs> my off-brand sword. It's a, you know, it's an imitation Chinese sword. No, it's, a, it's a, just... Not one I have any proficiency or specialization in, so. Taking these out one at a time, that's not a bad deal. So that could have gone a lot worse. That really could have gone a lot worse. 
If I had tried to fight them all down here, I would have just chain aggroed all this shit. And it would have ended badly for me. So when in doubt, never hesitate to retreat if necessary. Yeah, I don't think I need any of this. Is that magic? No. Alright. So let's, uh, fuck, another one. Come on. Go ahead and take him out. He's done. Ow, someone got hit. Oh, Ayla. And then I guess I gotta bust my uh, halfling out and, um, go through this place bit by bit. Is that high quality? No. Is that high quality? No. Alright. Time to look for traps. Sure. Anything down here? Yes, there's a, um, temple guardian. Anything else? Yeah. A bunch of skeletons and shit. My bad. So much for taking them one at a time. Let me get my imp out of there so he doesn't accidentally get squashed. Why must you do that? Stop this nonsense. Were you your go after the skeletons first? Your time draws near. I keep my imp going around. Well, no, he's gonna he's gonna retarget my people in the back. So that, my imp can target can uh, tank a few hits. Everybody on How can I help? this one now. My imp's gonna continue running around and try to get him targeting my front line. Okay, good. Your command. He's down, leaves one more. Come on. Oh shit, did he <sighs> Hey, he just killed my paladin. I didn't notice my paladin was getting that low. Twelve slashing damage. Holy shit. Oh man, I am just full of fail today. That was totally my bad. That was just me me not paying attention whatsoever. There was no reason for my paladin to die. I had the heals. I just was not paying attention. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Once again, jump cut to me getting him res and so on and so forth. So, oh, there's, oh, that's all his items. Thought that I'd hit the jackpot there for a minute. Go ahead and and pick all these things up. And, mm, uh, he had a lot of shit on him, didn't he? Well, I guess you know he is a uh, a tank, so he's got. All my spare weapons. And... Who gets to carry the rest of his crap? He does. Extra Yeti pelts. And on that note... You are proving yourself to be most annoying. I'll see you on the other side of the jump cut. Alright, welcome back. I am, um, I just got my paladin raised after that rather unfortunate incident of uh, me not paying the fuck attention. Um, while I was out, I picked up the Yeti armor which I, um, which I commissioned. This is what you get for 10 Yeti pelts and I think 2500 gold. This does not function as an upgrade to anybody, but I can sell it later. It does give you some decent cold resist, that's about it. So if you're looking for something that's an upgrade, like if you've got a barbarian or something, then that is a uh that's what you get if you're curious. Okay, let's go back to uh clearing this clearing this room out bit by bit. Okay, miss the tomb guardian. How can I help? Let's get everybody ready to engage it. Very well. Just don't wanna, don't wanna run up there, just gonna come swarm it. Alright. 
and a high quality axe. My high quality stuff is starting to sell for less because, as I discussed earlier, once you start, uh, once a once a uh, vendor has a certain amount of a certain thing, he starts paying less for it, and that's starting to happen to me uh, really noticeably on this high quality stuff. Some of it's still worth a fair amount though, and it's still worth better than uh, still worth more than the individual regular weapons. So I'm still gonna loot it. Agreed. It's just not the easy money it once was. Although, I think I've got another vendor there that'll buy yes, weapons, yes. so I may be able to start anew. I'll take care of it. Okay. What do I got in here? More of these things. Let's get away from this. Get everybody I but my M. Oh, God damn it. No! Okay. That was just me straight up fucking up again. It's like I can't stop failing on this. And it's all stupid mistakes. Oh, this is a proper shadow. This is an actual real shadow. Not a lesser shadow, but a real shadow. So, let me see. I got my magic weapon equipped. She's na natively magic. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and pop her magic dagger up. Because that way she can at least stab these things. What is it you require? Yes, dear. And instead of going full on with her, I will do um, Bard Song. Okay, who's dying? Oh no, no one's dying per se. It's just uh, your command. Get everybody but her on one of these. What's this? A mummy. And a shadow. So there were two shadows and a mummy. That's rough. That is seriously rough stuff. They all require magic weapons to hit. There's a lesser shadow. I can ignore that for now. Let's get this mummy down. Okay, so that was rougher than I thought it would be. Come on! Oh fuck, who just got... Somebody get, uh, diseased? I'll, I'll figure it out in a little bit. I think my Cavalier is immune to most diseases. It shall be done. Okay, anything I can loot? No, okay. Yes? Let's quietly go in this direction. Oh, there's another creature there. Get Bard Song turned off. I'm after this. It looks like this is just the antechamber to an another larger room, so. Try and get these down as quick as we can. Near death. Come on, take him out. See you to your My paladin needs a heal again. Except this time I'm being a little bit more. Here, instead of blowing that, I will cast an actual heal on him. And that'll bring him up into some decent ones. High quality battle axe. Anything else I need to get? No. Your All right. Agreed. Move up to here. Start keeping an eye out for traps. I'll get right on. Holy shit, that's a good thing. Disarmed. Disarmed. No, yes. no, 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 no. Yes, right up. Okay, disarmed. I'm about to walk everybody over that trap. What do I got in here? Another lesser shadow. Okay, good. Speak your mind. God's 
And this thing should just fold under my attacks. <sighs> Switching back to scouting mode. What do I got over here? Another lesser shadow, what else? Anything else I can grab? Just the one. Oh, there's two of them, my bad. How can I help? Take that off. And I I let Bard Song expire again. I keep uh, selecting the Bard in addition to everybody else. Tell me what you want. Fortunately, I think I can just keep hitting Bard Song without any limit, so. May the gods have mercy. Alright, so there we go. This room is clear. Just need to check traps. And loot it, of course. Any trap? Don't see a trap here. The more broken ancient armor this time. Uh, do I need to carry around ancient armor? I don't think so. As you touch this sarcophagus, your vision begins to swim and you feel dizzy. A chill slowly begins to creep up your arm and your fingers go numb. You quickly pull your hand away. I think those might have more undead in them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loot these sides. Get these taken care of real quick. Oh, shit. Yeah, she's got to go pass out this stuff. Or wait, not necessarily. She's got a couple things on her that she doesn't need. This, this helmet does not do any good. And, um... Mummy's tea. I can go ahead and. May as well start stacking these things. Gotta actually identify it first. May as well start stacking them up because it doesn't help to have a bunch of singles on them. What else you got? A high quality battle axe? Or a flawless battle axe? Okay. I stand corrected. More uh, cleric crap. The Ghoul Touch, which is a necromancy spell, which he's going to write flawlessly, because I don't think he can fail Ghoul Touch. I don't think he can fail necromancy spells. Oh, and I got this identified while, while I was in town. This is a Black Wolf Talisman. Armor class plus one, save versus breath plus one, cold resistance plus ten, maximum hit points plus ten. I need to go ahead and um, equip that. Or do I need to put on my... We'll go with him. Because he's the one that got owned. And the other one was a wand of, um... Wand of Armory, which is basically a shield spell, which is not terribly great. I'll probably sell it. Excuse me, I managed to turn my... Uh, I managed to turn my, uh, my people off. There we go. <laughs> I was like, what the hell, man? I can't turn him back on. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh! I did not get jumped. Nothing jumped me, so that's... surprisingly, um... unexpected. Oh, wow, he, he actually succeeded at something for once. I feel so bad that my wizard... I, I get overjoyed when my wizard actually does wizardly stuff. So I've got all of these keys down here, which I guess I'm going to have to uh, start... S Once I get out of here, I'm going to have to sell those keys to uh, What's-His-Face in town. Forward. Okay, Maria is Your slowed. Hmm? What does she have on her? Ah, God damn it. What does she have on her that's slowing her down? She shouldn't be slowed. Stop this nonsense forward. Okay. And we'll go down here and check this side. I got enough of this. I'll get right on it. Enemy sighted. What do we got here? Zombies? Couple zombies, yeah. Go ahead and take them out. How can I help? May the gods have it. 
Oh, it's a chosen zombie. It's not just a normal zombie. So they're special zombies. Okay, so one of them down. God's crazy strength. They're actually pretty hardy zombies. I mean, they're actually doing some damage. So, well, that one was just a normal zombie, I think. Let's see if I can't find any. What does this say? This plaque is engraved with the face of a fierce-looking older man. The eyes seem to bore into your own as you look at it. You almost get the feeling you are being watched. Oh no, don't kill her! What do we got? A mummy? A chosen zombie? And an imbued white? And some traps. Come on, don't kill me! Don't kill me! Holy crap, she's gonna continue moving. Fuck that. That is no place for her. Yes. I shall see you to you. Who just got attacked? Or who just got hit, rather? Oh, yes. I'm using my two-handed swords. Hold on. Weapon ineffective? Oh. What is it? Okay, require? my bad. He's. Because he's not using a, a dagger, he's using a uh, sling. Try and stab him with my normal dagger. My imp's weapons are ineffective. Oh, and, and my werewolf was just kind of standing there. What the fuck, man? Talk about your stupid AI. She got hung up between two of her friends and decided to just stand there. Okay. Speak Let's your get mind. this. He's Back gonna to switch service. back to uh there. How can I help? And let's take out this chosen zombie. Very well. And we should have a um yeah, we should have a white Oh crap, we've got a couple whites. Who just got yeah, okay. I, I need to make sure that they don't insta-kill somebody, because you can't resist or dodge magic missiles. One of the benefits of them, they do minimal damage, but when you start getting three or four volleys, uh, you get start getting like three or four volleys of magic missiles cast at you, uh, it can take you down real quick. Come on! Uh, once again, my fucking, um... Your command. Yeah, well. my my fucking druid is standing there like a dumbass. Yes. Okay. One of them's down. Now, my imp has no business being up here. My imp's gonna run in here and see what else is in here. A chosen zombie. I give no shits about my imp. My imp has zero shits given. There's if he dies, I mean, it's like my wizard takes some damage, but I just resummon him. It's not like I lose constitution or something goofy like that. <laughs> and I'm sorry for the light situation, but I got... Oh, fuck. See, wh wh where did that come from? Oh, you know what that was? That was me triggering the traps that I saw down here. Because my imp didn't trigger them. But my people did. So I got very lucky that nobody died. Yes. And Let's check wish. traps out now. Let's see. This sarcophagus is sealed in some unknown manner. The lid will not budge. So let's open this one. Got one over here. Magic spells and, um... Potions of healing. Uh, potions of healing are always useful. Give, give some to my mage. For no other reason than to have them on hand. Magic missile, I don't know on my mage. We'll go ahead and try. Oh, failed. Of course! It's fail wizard! Color spray, everybody knows color spray already, so I'll stick that in my scroll case for future reference. Ah. 
composite longbow, which sells for quite a bit. Um, chant, which is another priest spell. And what do I got here? Let's check for traps. No traps? Alright. Gems. Awesome. So, gems in the gem bag. And this scroll is shield. We'll try to cast that, or try to memorize that on my, or try to write it on my wizard. Fail, wizard, fails. I know he's a specialist, but his intelligence is so high he should have exactly the same chance of learning these spells as my bard. And yet my bard has only failed, what, twice? And my wizard has failed, like, literally half of his spells. So there is no, there is no justifying that. I mean, there is, uh, I try to, but it's, it's just ridiculous. Alright, let's, let's continue onward. Ready. Go ahead and I'm probably gonna get my ass owned here, so let's uh drag these out one at a time. Speak your mind, then leave quickly. Your yes, life is flash. forfeit. I'm listening. Yeah, there's no reason she should be in melee. Come on, damn it. Leave me be. That is what? A uh a spectral knight. I so thought that he caught up with my with my rogue just then. I was like, "Holy shit, she's dead!" I oh, okay. Go ahead and heal up again. I'll toss a heal onto my rogue, my thief, if you will, and another one just to get her out of the yellow. And uh, let's get my paladin out of the orange. And another one. Try to get him at least into the yellow. Okay. Back to business as usual. Look for traps. Oh, we've got another spectral knight. We gotta we gotta lure out. Your point. At once. Holy crap! There's archers there. I'm gonna keep running with my rogue or with my thief. Stop this nonsense! Were you born in a Take the spectral knight out. Ready. And then start focusing on these guys. As soon as I can take them out of ranged combat, they become dead easy. It's like the bow gets two shots around, so he's already got that up. Then he's got special ammunition, and then the bows just do more damage generically than their weapons, so. Any time you can take an archer and reduce them to a melee character or to a melee fighter, then uh, you're that that much further ahead of the game. You basically cut their threat rate in half or less. Longbow. Don't need a flail. What's this guy have? Berserker darts. Longbow and bandit sword. Okay. Redistribute these things. Bullet plus two, that's, um, decent. Arrow plus one, which she'll just add to her stack. And these to whoever wants them. Okay. Moving my... Well, Got to drag these out one at a time. Come on. Your command? Your life is forfeit. Familiar died. So my imp just walked up and got owned in one hit. Went from 
completely uh, full health to nothing in one shot. Which was admittedly not unexpected. Well, I've been trying to be kind of generous on keeping him behind. Mm -hmm. What's up? I'm gonna have to just eventually put him in the back, uh, put him in, uh, put him in my backpack, and just uh, only bring him out when he's absolutely needed. Because he can become a, an ogre and, and add some decent damage, but he can't tank yes. for shit. Your life is forfeit. Yes. Yeah, she does not need to be frontline. Okay. My um my people are low on uh, healing. I'm listening, all right. But I think I've got a little bit. I think I got a couple more I can lay out. What already? So long as I don't have a major battle to worry about. Unfortunately, I think I just might. So. That is a skeleton mage. Let's run the hell away. And everybody run back from that. How can I help? Everybody run out of that stinking cloud. You really enjoy this, don't you? And I'll wait for it to extinguish. Nobody got uh, nobody got knocked unconscious. Hey, that's that's good. Sure. Let's go ahead and um, I gotta wait for this to to uh, to expire. So da 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 da. Just kind of wait, wait. Waiting for it to expire. Da, da, da. It's going to take a couple rounds at least. Make a couple decent rounds. There we go. Now let's see what else we got up here. All right, there he is again. Come on, run away, run away. Okay, so he cast armor. No. Save versus spells. Because she's got the shorty bonus, and she's also got high wisdom, I believe, so... Critical miss. Yeah, that does not going to help her against Acid Arrow. Acid Arrow is going to own her, so I need to get some you healing on her real quick. On so many and I have no now. healing. I have no healing to Your desire. Something so she's gonna go ahead and drink a potion and stand in the back. Your command. Go ahead and get my you have my, my two people here up front. I'll go in with my werewolf first. Oh, what was that lightning bolt? Holy crap! Yeah. Okay. So she took a lightning bolt to the head. Yes forward holy crap there's a lot of them Cast yes, color spray and I just completely dodged it speak your Get mind. everybody but my bard on this shit because this is some serious shit here I should see you to your grave. now you were really asking yes. for it you know this looks like a major combat <sighs> Uh, stinking Cloud's not going to help. Color Spray is not going to help. Um, Agonizer Scorcher might help. Get Even him over here. Fear I am wounded. And we can go ahead and, and bust out Agonizer Scorcher across these two. How can I Paladin's going to lay out, uh, lay on hands on himself. Can I help? And she is going to cast Draw Upon Holy Might. Because that's going to give her some combat bonuses. No, damn it. Oh, fuck, I fucked it up. I, I tried to move before she was done casting. 
See, that is why you you cast it across them, because you can hit multiples for that. And then the next round is going to continue. Speak your mind, then leave quickly. Pop up uh, protection from evil. And quaff a potion, except that's not going to get to him in time, so he's got to run. Go on, run, run away. Oh, fuck. That is the one bad part about Agonizer Scorcher. Quaffa's potion. I await your instructions. I pray your childish Come on, drink it. Okay, there we go. Your point. Everybody but the bard, Agreed. and get on this last Here one. They are. The spectral knights are going down pretty quick. And then she definitely needs healing, so... I've still got a skeletal mage to deal with, so... I gotta pick somebody who's gonna go up and deal with that mage. Take this... This... No. No, and no. Alright. So let's go ahead and, and get everybody... Lined up there. I am ready as always, certainly. And I'm gonna run in there with my um with my uh with I shall see you to your Okay, and you cannot charm a freaking um oh, wow. That was what burning hands? Can she quaff a potion as a yeah, she can drink a potion as a werewolf. Ah, oh, shit. She has to get this guy out of the way. At least get him to switch to, uh... Yeah, to his... No. Oh, crap. No. Okay, she, he's gonna miss. It's a good thing. Now get everybody else on, on point. This nonsense. Were you born in a field? Everybody else has to charge this mage. I will do so. Come on, keep running, damn it. Oh, fuck. God damn it. That. And why? Because she got hung up on a column? I got two people down. How can I help? So, what is owning them? I think it's that archer that's owning them. Gods grant me strength. So, next time I think to rest. I'll go ahead and rest. So that's going to cost me 1,400 gold right there. At a bare minimum. I think more because they've leveled up since last time I raised them. God damn. That blows. I hope I have enough to raise them. I hope I have enough to raise them. This whole sticking with the, with the hardcore mode is kind of kind of getting to me at this point, but Hey, I started it, so I gotta I gotta finish it. Let's see what I got. Got some uh some bracers that I didn't have before. So I, I I've got shit to sell, so it's not like Fine by me. Not like I've got, you know, nothing to sell. Problem is I really don't want to run back to town, but I'm going to. Okay, who has space? Oh shit, he's overburdened with that. So is she. And he yeah, he can he can carry it. Bracers of defense, AC eight. So that's another copy of those. Da 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 just kinda <sighs> loot and everything, and um, tell you what, I will be back uh, after I get everybody rezzed. So, see you on the other end of the jump cut, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to finish Kreslak's Tomb. If not this session, then uh, then um, we'll get we'll, we'll get damn close to it this session. Alright, I'm back. I uh, got everybody rezzed. Getting tired of, of dying. I need to get my shit together. I need to start taking less risk. I just start doing so well and then I decide wait a minute I can push it just a little further just a little further and then it just completely falls apart
So at least that was the last creature in this room. So let's Ready. go to the next one. I'll get right on. Okay, the wolf paws. It's kind of like the amulet I've got. Open it up, and what did this open up to? This pool is filled with an unidentifiable green liquid. It emits an eerie glow. Okay, there's a guy up here. Yes. Forward. You know what? He's not. He's not attacking me. So let's get my bard up here and actually talk to this guy. This is Kresselak himself. At last, the mighty adventurer stands before me. To what do I owe this honor? Take it, you were expecting me? I have your progress since you first stepped foot into my realm. It was only a matter of time before you made your way here. So tell me, why have you come? I seek the evil that if plagues Kuldahar. If seek, then you need look no further. I stand here before you. However, I am not the one who plagues Kaldahar. For that evil, you must look elsewhere. Okay, that's interesting. Why should I, I believe you to be innocent? Whether you believe me, adventurer. I am centuries dead and bound to these halls for eternity. All right. I care even less for the living or their I gathering places. If your Kaldahar is beset by evil, it is not of my doing. Go seek your villain elsewhere. Well, he sounds... He's re relatively cordial for an evil undead warrior. Who indeed? Is responsible. I can answer your question, but I require a boon first. Perform a task for me, and I will answer you. Oril, the ice goddess, is worshipped by some here in the so, cold north. Oral uh, powers to extinguish so he's all getting cold. To open I guess that would suck if you were like... And to deny warmth a place to gather. If you were immortal, and you basically had to spend the rest of your life in a particular area, and then somebody came around and turned the lights off and wanted to let you turn them back on, so that, that thing that would really suck after a couple centuries. The of Aurel has stood at the threshold of my tomb and gazed within. Recently she attempted entry, but... Okay, so there's a new quest. I've got to find the, uh... There's Find the priestess and take her out. I wish to spend eternity in a cold, lightless hell. And because Oral is evil, Be quick about I have task, no problem with this. Now I sense her presence within the veil. So I gotta Talk go... To when you have dealt with her. Speak your mind. Until then, gotta go take her out. And then I'll go ahead and loot his corpse. Because, let's face it, he's evil. So, I will see you on the top when I find this priestess because there's only so many places in the valley above she can be. Welcome back. Alright, you remember the encampment where the Yeti uh, chieftain came out of and we found those human supplies? Well, it appears as though the priestess is there and you remember the missing barmaid. Well, there she is in full cleric gear. So what can we do? I guess we'll have to kill her. Who are you? She's name is Lysen. I seek a priestess of Aurel. Will that be you? Okay. Let us end this game, Lysen. I recognize you as the barmaid from Koldahar. What is a barmaid doing here unless she is more than she's seen? I see. I wondered if you would recognize me since our meeting was so brief. Very well, let us drop the charade. I am Lysen. Servant of Aurel. You have found your priestess. Now state your business with me. I have come on behalf of the spirit of the tomb here. He is worried about your intentions towards his resting place. I know nothing of any spirit, but I am familiar with the tomb you speak of. It is an abomination in the eyes of the goddess. I intend to make it more pleasing to her tastes. There is a spirit bound in that tomb. He does not wish to spend eternity in the cold and dark. He just doesn't give a shit. So... What about the people of Kaldahar? They are not dead, nor are they beyond mortal concerns. Would you deny them the warmth and protection of the Great Tree? Kaldahar, the Great Tree, and the Circle of Warmth are an abomination in the eyes of Oro. Kaldahar shall embrace the winter in her name, 
or perish in the cold waste. The will of Oral shall be done. I cannot allow that to happen. So be it. So I guess it is time to just kick her ass. Except this time I'm going to be smart about it. See, she's a human, and I have a whole person spell, so I'm going to try that right off the bat. And I'm going to try... When you do um, horror on her, though I doubt it's going to work. How can I help? And we'll see what happens. Oh, wow, all kinds of, uh... Yeti. Okay, so horror did work. And she's held. Speak your mind. So I have plenty of time to mop up this shit. Okay, I got a Yeti on my mage. He's got to move. Come on, kill these fucking Yeti. They can't be that hard. Barely injured. I know for a fact that I can take these things out faster than most. But I know for a fact that they can one-shot my, uh, my wizard, so he's not sticking around to find that out. Okay, get everybody but the wizard back on this one. Not on that, on that one. My bard can tank the one and my wizard can kite the other one. Alright. Now back down. We'll get get this one first. Oh shit. Well he's he's only taken two damage. They've hit him for the bare minimum. She's got to move. Come on. Alright, so everybody's got to, everybody but the bard has to take this one out. My bard's gonna park over here and start bard song as soon as well, fucking a. As soon as they get aggro on this yeti. Okay, she's gonna start bard song, and everybody but her is gonna come wail on this paralyzed person. Old person just took her out of the combat completely. She's horrified. She's held. She's got no chance. So I'm going to straight up murder her in the corner. Alright. So she's down. Let's see what she had. Ah, Magic Morning Star. Did she restock herself? Whoops. She is dead and the curse has been lifted. We are free. We thank you. What curse? She cursed the veil and bid us to rise. We could not deny her the calling. It was too strong. What calling are you talking about? I do not know. I cannot explain. We could not resist the calling. I must leave now. The land of the dead calls me home. Farewell. Very well. Farewell. She didn't restock her treasures. Oh well. But we do have more Yeti pelts to stock up on. And since I'm not making anything else out of them, I'm just going to go ahead and sell them for 50 gold a pop, which is not a bad take. So she's dead. I need to go talk to Kresselak. And um, I'll tell you one thing. One thing that tomb needs more than, more than piles of bone, more than fires, more than pits of green goo. You know what it needs? A fucking elevator. That's what it needs. Because I'm getting sick and tired of going all the way back down to level 3. So, catch you when I get there. Bye. And now we're back. Welcome back to Kresselek's Tomb. Uh, let's go ahead and, and turn it in, I guess. Agreed. Let's see what we've gotten here. We've got his crypt. That's about it. You have returned. You have performed the task that I set before you? Yes, the yes. priestess is dead. I no longer sense 13,000 experience. You've done well, and I thank you. As a reward, you may take what you find in my sarcophagus. sarcophagus. It's not bad, it's not bad. You said you would tell me who is responsible yes, for the evil. so I did. The truth of the matter is that I do not know who is responsible. I can only uh. assure you that it is not I, nor is it anyone in this veil. What an asshole. But I guess, you know, I can't really expect 
to do something for an evil person and expect them not to lie. Promised. Oh, yeah. I, I made, made you, you no promise, promises. adventurer. As for your answer, knowing where your enemy is not is as vital as knowing where he is. Think upon that. That's some sort of uh, art of war bullshit right there. All right. Well, let's see what we got. What kind of goodies do we got? We got healing potion. We got a wicked black helmet and wicked black plate mail armor, which is gonna look nice. Got a magic long sword and a magic two-handed sword. Fucking a win. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. Plate mail for the plate mail. Too far away. Everybody's way the fuck over there. So let's go over there. Ah, oh, shit. I keep opening up the options instead. So let's see what we got. Long sword, not identified. Not identified. Do I have a uh, spell? Yes. Turodhel plus two is a. Uh, Wow, that's a lot of backstory. I don't even know what that is. Okay, let's see. Intelligence plus one. Echo plus two damage, 1d8 plus two. So it's a long sword plus two with a plus one intelligence. So I don't have anybody I, I know of that, that needs that. So let's see what else I got. Let's go with... Oh, let's switch him into that helmet too. He shall become the Black Knight. All right. Let's take this uh, two-handed sword. Identify with a spell. Cresselex Sword plus one. It's a plus ten percent cold resistance, and it's a two-handed sword plus one. But you know what? As simple as that is, it is like gold for my damn uh, paladin up here. So even though it's an evil sword, I'm taking it. So he looks completely badass right now, and the other one's just a morning star plus one. So he looks straight up badass. And we can get rid of this bass this longsword plus one too. So I've got a bunch of magic items I can sell. So I can end it here or uh yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh this has been the last of Chrysalix Tomb. Uh next time we will go ahead and be in Kaldahar. I'll level up my paladin between now and then. Uh you know, if you like what you've seen, like, comment, subscribe, share. And uh, we will uh, go ahead and uh, take care and goodbye.